in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful, with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations so that we may be truly wise and even rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Day 6 Should we really give Mary everything? Part 2 Okay, so yesterday we looked at how when we fully consecrate ourselves to Mary, we give up the right to distribute the grace of our prayers and merits to others. But we saw that it all works out even better in the end. Now, today we turn to ourselves. Isn't it crazy to give Mary all the value of our good actions and prayers and so appear before God with empty hands? No, it's not crazy. Remember, Mary is not outdone in generosity. If we give her all our merits, she'll give us all of hers. And that's a big deal. I once read a story about a saint on earth who had a vision of heaven. In her vision, she saw the saints in heaven and their different degrees of glory. With some saints, she was astonished because they had risen so high in glory as to be worshipping God with the seraphim, the highest choir of angels. Another time, I read a passage in the diary of Saint Faustina, in which Faustina had a similar vision of heaven. She related that if we were to see the differences among the degrees of glory in heaven, we would willingly suffer anything on earth just to move one degree higher. After reading these testimonies, I say to myself, I not only want to go to heaven, but I want to reach the highest degree of glory in heaven that I possibly can. There's an easy way for us to do this. We give Mary everything. We rely not on our own merits, but on hers. Saint Louis explains, The Most Holy Virgin who never lets herself be outdone in love and liberality, seeing that we give ourselves entirely to her, meets us in the same spirit. She also gives her whole self and gives it in an unspeakable manner to him who gives all to her. She causes him to be engulfed in the abyss of her graces. She adorns him with her merits. She supports him with her power. She illuminates him with her light. She inflames him with her love. She communicates to him her virtues, her humility, her faith, her purity, 
and the rest. In a word, as that consecrated person is all Mary's, so Mary is all his. Now, despite these consoling words, one might still be troubled and say, that's great, I'm all for having a high degree of glory in heaven. But what I'm worried about is purgatory. I'm afraid that if I give away all my merits even to Mary, then I'll have to suffer in purgatory for a very long time. Saint Louis responds, This objection, which comes from self-love and ignorance of the generosity of God and His Holy Mother, refutes itself. A fervent and generous soul who gives God all he has without reserve so that he can do nothing more, who lives only for the glory and reign of Jesus Christ through his Holy Mother, and who makes an entire sacrifice of himself to bring it about. Will this generous and liberal soul, I say, be more punished in the other world because it has been more liberal and more disinterested than others? Far, indeed, will that be from the truth. Rather, it is toward that soul that our Lord and His Holy Mother are the most liberal in this world and in the other, in the orders of nature, grace, and glory. Okay, this settles it, and we get a gentle rebuke on top of it all. Saint Louis repeats the important point. Mary is not outdone in generosity. If we are especially generous with her, then she'll be especially generous with us. And he makes another good point. The gentle rebuke. He says that these kinds of concerns come from self-love. So yes, we should aim high. Yes, we should have holy ambition and want to reach the highest heights of holiness. But our motive should not be self-love. Rather, it should be that we want to please God and give great glory to Him. We should keep this important point in mind when, tomorrow, we read about some of the awesome benefits of being consecrated to Mary. Today's Prayer Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary. Help me to give great glory to God by giving all I have to Mary. Amen. Let us now pray the litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, 
pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of the family, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen.